might be a coincidence. <laughs> but you're an ugly bitch. Don't get mad at me. You knew you was ugly first. But the bottom line is it's just words. And if you let words offend you, then we still got a long way to go. Yes, man, you got to loosen up. Don't let these words. Remember back in the days when you was young and you fought a motherfucker because he said your mama? Your mama. You, I'll kill you, nigga. Ah! Lose your mind. Yeah, niggas grown now still ready to fight. This nigga talk about my mama. Nigga, you talk about your mama. <laughs> so just loosen up. We're going to have a good time. I know a lot of men are here that didn't want to come. I can see it. Niggas always don't want to come. We going to the comedy show. I ain't going to shit. Niggas ain't funny. There's always men that think they funnier than the comedian. I can do that shit. Touch a mic and freeze like somebody froze their ass. I like to see couples. I'm starting to like Cleveland a lot. You, don't, you can't really like it when you hear shit on the news. The news got y'all fucked up just like they got New York fucked up. They make it seem like you walking down the street, nigga robbing you at your own fucking house. That's the way they treat us in New York. Don't go to the Bronx. It's the same shit, trying to keep us out the hood, make it sound bad. Then they come by up our whole community. And we be like, God damn, I could have bought this. No, it was fucked up. And you fell for it. We keep falling for the same tricks, too. We need to put our money together and buy one building in the middle of they shit. <laughs> Just cause havoc. What up, nigga? Hi, Bert. <laughs> Another party? Yeah. I wonder why they fuck with us, too. I like white people, but they just fuck with us. Complain. The music too loud. You ever hear these niggas' music? It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> All fucking night they drunk. Pop another one! One thing I like, though, Latino people, they don't give a fuck. They party for nothing. Little man, man birthday, he, he two months. <laughs> they, they giving this, this nigga a party. Baby, two o'clock in the afternoon, you say, fuck it, it's man, man birthday, seven months. Now it's three o'clock in the morning. Puerto Ricans don't give a fuck. They still, hey, 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 Black people will knock on the fucking ceiling. Open the fucking door, Hector! <laughs> Hector come right out. What happened? Man, you don't turn that shit down. They say, motherfucker, we put an invitation under your door. <laughs> if you don't come to the party, that's your fucking business. Everybody in the building is in the party. You the only motherfucker here that got a job, that's it. Next thing you know, your ass in the middle of the floor. <laughs> yeah. The new shit, though, is the Africans. You see the videos with the Africans? They do dances that nobody else can copy. That shit down. And jump around. I tried that shit at one club and almost passed the fuck out. That shit ain't no dance. That's exercising. Anybody who feels their weight is a little fucked up, go to an African party. <laughs> you come out slim than a motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. And I'm glad to see the couples are together. Because nowadays you can't even rap the women. Since the COVID, you don't know what to say to women. Hey. She be like, <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Can't cough around nobody. Sex drive is down. Shit. You home six months with your woman, you don't want to fuck. <laughs> Come in the room, no. I'm going to sleep on the couch tonight. You just catch you tomorrow, man. Women got horny. Niggas got tired. <laughs> they wanted to fuck two, three days in a row. No, sir. We gonna do it again? Uh -huh. <laughs> Brothers be so prideful, we don't know how to say no, though. 
but your dick do. <laughs> your dick be like, yo, I'm, <laughs> yo, I'm tired, bro. What's the matter? And women always have a fun, find a way to make you feel bad. What's the matter with little man? <laughs> if that nigga could talk, he'll curse you the fuck out. I'm tired of you jumping on me, big bitch. <laughs> uh, I can't breathe. Man, we got we to gotta be honest with ourselves. We can't do shit we used to. Come on, we getting old. These women, they stay flexible a little longer. Some of them. Not all of them. You ever see the ones that could throw one leg up still? She's still trying to... Mm. <laughs> They're like, Clara, put your goddamn leg down. <laughs> oh, you can't handle this. No. Because <laughs> women don't ever admit when they in pain, not during sex. Sometimes they be, ah, you hear that, uh. But if you push their legs too far back, you don't even recognize the sound. She'd be like, ha, <laughs> ha, da, ha, to mighty. <laughs> Them old women be like, ha, ha, to mighty. <laughs> that goddamn knee hit that titty. <laughs> ha, 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 to mighty. <laughs> Men be thinking they tearing that ass up. You ain't doing shit. You done pushed her knee too far back. <laughs> Hard to mighty. <laughs> Young women, y'all. Y'all got them little cool sounds. Ooh. Ooh. Acting like you giggling at a nigga. Us men, we, we, we got fucked up sounds. You can tell when we tired. Or something wrong with her. <laughs> Men always try to sound smooth doing say, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> when the nigga lose control, you ever see him curse and blame the woman? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, shit. Ooh, girl. That was wet. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, you. I try to hold it back. This ain't usually me. <laughs> well, who you usually is? <laughs> oh, man, getting old is no fun, man. We used to tell stories. Remember back in the days you could tell stories? They got, we was fucking for three hours. Who I had her ass in the bed for four hours. Who fucking three hours now? And for what? That's a goddamn flight. <laughs> Nobody need to be fucking no three hours. Good 15 minutes, and that's, that's it. And women, if y'all complain, that's y'all business. I'm at the age now, I don't give a fuck. She be like, what the fuck was that? I said, huh, that was good. <laughs> I am finished, baby. And don't touch me, I'm sensitive. All that hugging after you have sex. I don't know what the fuck y'all men be doing. You know we ain't got no strength. This heavy head bitch lay on your fucking arm. <laughs> Tell me, you all right, daddy? Oh, fuck no, I feel needles. <laughs> feel like you checking my blood pressure. Get the fuck off me. I tell you the truth, ladies, if a man hug you after a nut, he love you. He ain't got no strength. Nigga dead. He ain't gonna admit it. Like, you all right? He be like, huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> No, sir. And don't come quick. Oh, that's against the rules. You come when she tell you to. Every man in here that comes quick heard the same story. What the fuck that? <laughs> no, sir. And they know when we come in, too, because every man in here got that little retarded nigga. He just come out. We try to hold him back. Did you hear him a little bit? But y'all don't know what triggers retardedness. It's your sound. Every woman that has that sexy sound, huh? Ooh. That's why men be telling you, shh, shh, shh. Huh? Ooh. That retarded nigga coming up. <laughs> the, be quiet. Huh? Oh, God. And then when you curse, that's it. Motherfucker. Fucker. Ah! 
retarded nigga going and a woman to look at you. And the funniest shit is when the woman looking at your retarded ass and you just going crazy. She like, you all right? <laughs> sex is something. Never thought I'd get tired of sex. I don't want it. I just want to. I just want to go to the park, drink juice. All that you coming in your lingerie, waste of time. I'll be sleepy. Show uh, y'all tip the waitresses. We trying to get them uniforms. Sitting around here working out in their gym equipment. I see you look. One, two, cheeseburger. <laughs> little sexy mama, too, in her little workout suit. All right, let's, let's have some fun. Thank y'all for coming out. All the late people that still coming in. So I'm going to tell y'all so y'all know what this is all about. This here is adult comedy. We have fun. Uh... I made a deal with Sam to let me come here once a month and help him bring this place out. And it, it kind of surprises me, I'm not going to lie, because uh, when I do the improv, the line is around the corner. So uh, not to be racist, but I like to see black establishments doing the same great things. So y'all keep supporting. If y'all see a fly, I'm going to give everybody my personal goddamn Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, then um, ask somebody when I'm going to be here. Because <laughs> when you see Instagram, you see them old, older women. What the fuck is that? Is that like the church paper? <laughs> so, so I'm going to be here once a month bringing you some of the hottest young comedians, some of the older comedians. But we're going to have some fun. So all we ask is that y'all keep supporting. Don't keep this a secret. Tell a friend. Black people, we always keep a shit a secret. Where y'all going? <laughs> ah, don't tell that nigga where we going. Son. <laughs> he always want to know where we going. No, nah, we want to have this shit packed. And I know it could be packed, too. It's a great thing. We, have, we want adults like y'all that come to just laugh, go home and try the jokes at work Monday and fuck them up. Yeah, he was talking about he picked up the bitch and she was retarded. <laughs> we like couples, we like people who broke up. <laughs> cause we can bring y'all back together cause some of the shit we talk about make people remember. So let's just have some fun. Y'all all right, boo-boos? I like y'all, y'all eating off each other plate. Y'all greedy than a motherfucker. <laughs> taste this, you taste it. And this is where women come out. I like, I like to see that. It'd be about four women and one nigga because he didn't want to believe where they was going. All right. Y'all got? <laughs> y'all make sure y'all got to tell her twice. She act like she don't need to write shit down. <laughs> she don't write shit down, but come right back to you. What you say again? <laughs> What the fuck did you order again? <laughs> she wasn't supposed to come to work today. Look at that. She was in the gym looking at the equipment. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to have some fun. Drink them drinks slow. I saw <laughs> he took it. That shit. <laughs> Drink them slow, baby. You be fucked up before you know it. All right. So we ready to have a good time? Are we ready to have a good time? Yes. Promise me y'all gonna spread the word and not keep us a secret no more. Cause if I can drive all the way to fuck here every goddamn month, y'all can drive a couple of friends here every week. I mean, every shit. Tell somebody. Y'all gonna tell somebody? I know y'all part of a book club or something. <laughs> Look like y'all read nice shit. I could pick people. How long y'all been together? First date. Oh. oh. Okay. He took you to the right place, too. You give me $50, I'll help you get some of that pussy. <laughs> I 
I'll make her laugh all the way back to the, huh? that nigga crazy, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm fucking with you. Give me that $50. No. <laughs> you ready? Uh, so y'all been here before. I've seen y'all before, right? But you got on a mask this time. Where am I? You got a different nigga or something? <laughs> I don't want this nigga. No, I'm just... <laughs> That's your nephew? Okay. Where your boyfriend? You don't fuck around like that. That's what I'm talking about. Happy birthday. Give a round of applause. That's all right. Y'all been here before? No? Where I seen y'all at? Oh, no. I, he, he fuck around. So I'm, he the one said you've been on TV, right? How long y'all been together? Y'all can tell, y'all dress alike in every fucking thing. What you wearing, powder blue? Me too. <laughs> we gonna kill these niggas tonight. <laughs> 17 years, god damn. I love it. Anybody got 17 years beat? Shit. Who, who together? None of y'all? How long? Huh? Okay, y'all. It's called beat. <laughs> Not catch up. <laughs> a year? Y'all been together a year? That's beautiful. What has what it been like? Right. Oh, so y'all met right before COVID? Y'all worked together. And you try... So how was it for you? You can be honest. It's only a year. You ain't got that much feelings for. No, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Fuck, she been a fucking headache. No, I'm, I'm just playing. Told you she was going to forget. She done sent the waitress to remember. So y'all y'all in, involved in it, y'all? Huh? Family, okay. Cousin? Oh, God damn, you done brought it. You, right, you right. But where your man? Every week you come without a nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. Huh? Oh, this is right. You right. All right. You shut me the fuck up. <laughs> no, bring the cousins, nephews, aunties, and shit. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> ha, he don't deserve you. All right, we go. I like her. She's spunky as shit. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna worry about that no good motherfucker? That's what you wanted to say. <laughs> How long y'all been together back there? God damn. What y'all what? Seventeen? Yeah, they close. Yeah, they still got good times though. Y'all dressing alike. <laughs> it's almost over when you start dressing out the same closet. Put on the blue. <laughs> and y'all pretty ladies, what happened? No boyfriends, no nothing? Killed them niggas? Y'all look like widows. <laughs> you a widow? <laughs> yeah, you like young niggas. I can tell. <laughs> you be buying niggas Reeboks. <laughs> all right, all right. So we got first date, we got one year, we got no good nigga. <laughs> 15 to 17, and... I got some young niggas for you. <laughs> I can see you now by the school. Come here, you want some Skittles? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go, we gonna have some fucking fun. All right, so we gonna bring up some of the comedians tonight and we got a special guest that came through just to show us some love. So y'all are in for a very, very treat, treatful show. My name is Capone, I am your host, DJ Ones and Twos in the back. And uh, we're going to have some fun. Just sit back, laugh your ass off. Don't take none of this shit personal that we talked about. And uh, let's just rock on. So the first person I'm bringing to the stage, these are actually my team members. I got a group called Team Capone. And I brought them out here this week, and it's going to be funny as fuck. First one coming up to the stage, he's my Latin killer. Please put your hands together for Damien. <laughs> Thank you. 
What up, what up, what up, Cleveland? All right, some of you are happy to be here. We good, DJ, we good? How we doing? We all right? I was going to say, I flew down. I almost didn't make that shit, so I need some energy. I almost died today. We had a rookie pilot. That motherfucker bounced the plane off the runway when we landed. So, yeah, for a minute, I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. We out, though. The pandemic's over. We're back out around people. It's nice, right? Now, I don't know about you guys, but that lockdown was rough. Like, I had to do some shit to entertain myself so I didn't go crazy. So what I chose to do is I chose to educate myself. And I learned a lot of ridiculous shit. I learned that my tolerance for spicy food is not what I thought it was, all right? I read about this tortilla chip that's made with the Carolina Reaper pepper. You ever hear that? It's like supposed to be the hottest pepper ever made. Yeah. I ordered it. I was curious. I was like, how hot can this be? Man, that shit was so spicy. I took one bite. I was gay for 10 seconds. As, as soon as it hit my lips, I was like, Jesus. I said, this is spicy. Woo! It was bad. Oh, and it hurt going in and coming out. So don't do it. Don't do it. All right? I also learned that as a parent, I could wholeheartedly love my children and not like them at the same damn time. Especially my daughter, her mouth is reckless. All right? She's, listen, she's going to grow up to be a wonderfully strong and independent woman one day. But right now, she's just an asshole. If you didn't laugh at that, don't judge me. You probably don't have kids. All right? Trust me. It's bad. But I have to say, the most interesting thing that I learned was actually about my father. It right? turns out my dad was way ahead of the curve when it came to this whole pandemic. Right? His social distancing skills were next level. He was so concerned about our family getting sick, he left when I was four. Yeah, don't feel bad laughing at that. It's not like he's here to support me, guys. It's fine. Oh, my God. This guy's a little tight. You got to loosen up a little bit. We're here to talk some shit. I mean, I can make it worse. We can get a little bit more uncomfortable. Clap it up if you got kids. All right. Clap it up if your kids look like you. All right, stop showing off. Yeah. I got two kids. Neither one of them little shits look like me. All right, both my kids got bright red hair, green eyes, and pale skin. You know how many times people ask my wife who the baby daddy is? In the summer when I hang out with my kids and I'm all tan and shit, I got to carry a paternity test so people don't think I kidnap them. It's so bad. It's gotten to the point now where I have to make jokes about the kids not being mine just to make myself feel better. I did it before I came down here to Cleveland, or up here, I should say. We went out, took my family out to eat. Now my wife, brown hair, brown eyes like me, right? Waitress comes over to the table. Oh, my God, your kids are adorable. But I have to ask, where's the red hair come from? With a straight face, I go, her boyfriend. <laughs> oh. Waitress was uncomfortable. My wife got pissed off. Best part, my daughter looks up at me and goes, Daddy, who's mommy's boyfriend? <laughs> I was like, I know, kid, but we got to figure this shit out together. <laughs> you know? uh, since we're all out, I'm curious. Who got the vaccine? Who got the vaccine in here? Okay, a couple of you. Okay, all right. Yeah. So I got it. All right. I didn't want it, but I got it. All right. Here's the thing. I'm a firefighter. I felt like I had to get it. Now, here's the mistake I made. I didn't do my research before I went to get the shot because I wasn't really nervous. You know what I mean, I walked in. I got the shot. No problem. Got up to leave. Problem. All right. Nurse put her hand on my chest. She was like, uh, where are you going? I was like, uh, home. She goes, no, you're not. I got to watch you for the next 15 minutes to make sure nothing happens to you. Yeah. Now I'm fucking nervous, right? So I look at this nurse with fear in my heart. And I go, uh, quick question. If you're not worried about what's going to happen to me in the next 15 minutes, should we be giving this to people? You know what her answer was? Mm. <laughs> that's a terrible fucking answer. Like, that's the kind of answer you give somebody when they ask you an unimportant question. So like, hey, are there any good restaurants around here? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like, I know I'm being dramatic. I can feel it. It's probably the Latin side of me, right? I just feel like there's certain professions where you should be required to have answers. Could you imagine asking a pilot, hey, is this plane going to land all right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And oh, God, it was the longest 15 minutes of my life. I sat in that chair. I started Googling possible side effects and shit. But obviously, I made it. The time passed. I got up to leave. Would you believe she stopped me again? She goes, sir, you can't leave yet. I go, why now? She goes, we forgot to get your billing information. Would you happen to know your insurance ID number? So you know what I said? Mm, I left that fucking office so fast. You can make me worry about health. You can worry about how you get paid. 
Look out of here. All right, you guys loosen up a little bit. Who's the first date couple? This right here? Oh, we're about to make it your last. All right. I got a question for you. You got to be honest. You ready? All right, don't be nervous. Okay. What made you choose her? That's a bull. He said because she's special. Oh, you're just trying to get laid later. All right. That's, that's a half-ass answer. All right, well, if you don't want to be honest, I'll be honest, all right? I knew my lady was the one from the very first blowjob. Okay. Yes, I said what I said. <laughs> Listen, I'll explain, though, all right? Here's the thing. Before I met my wife, when I was single, and I was out there doing my thing, I had my fair share of what we'll call experiences, all right? And in those experiences, very rarely did they go to completion for me. You know what I mean? Then I met my wife. Her completion percentage was insane. All right, she was putting up Hall of Fame type numbers. So we got married, and then she retired from the game. Yeah. He said, yeah. <laughs> oh, he just put you on the spot. <laughs> Man, you're definitely not getting one now. That's it. It's over. She just sucked you in a relationship and then quit. Oh, my God. Oh. No, but it's still good. I mean, I give her a lot of shit, but I have to be honest, all right? My wife deserves an award for dealing with me, all right? I don't know if you could tell, but my mouth is reckless. I speak without thinking a lot. And it's because of that I have this theory, and I call it the ugly baby theory, all right? She's laughing already. I didn't even tell her what it is yet. All right, listen, here's the thing. I think there's two kinds of people in this world, all right? There's the kind of people that'll see an ugly baby and still say shit like, oh, how cute, Right? And then there's people like me that see an ugly baby, and they're like, oh, what happened? You know, yeah, I said it. I know. I know. It's a lot. But I, first of all, you guys pulled back on that. I feel like I can't be the only one. Clap it up if you've seen an ugly baby. Okay. I was going to say, because I know I'm not the only one. Now, here's a more important question. And be honest. I see you smirking back there. Be honest. All right? How many of you told the parents their baby was ugly? Good. All right. All of you that didn't clap, you guys are the problem. All right? <laughs> Yep, I blame all of you. It is your fault. We got some parents out here showing off their little stroller trolls because you guys want to be nice and act like they're cute. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know I shouldn't be up here talking about levels of cuteness while I'm looking like an overweight Vin Diesel. I get it. I understand. I understand. But let me say one more thing. You ever see it the opposite way? You ever see it the other way where the baby is really adorable but the parents are ugly as shit? Right? It's always the same thing. They go, hey, this is my baby. And you, what do you say? This you? You did this. You sh I've seen your family. Are you sure you did this? Oh, that's mean. That's mean. I know it's a bad one. But I got to be honest, though. I actually cannot. I talk a lot of shit, but I cannot tell somebody that their baby is ugly. Okay? And I know that because I was in that situation. Okay? A friend of mine had a baby. I went back to meet this baby. Now, I didn't know what to expect. So I walked in the room. I looked in the crib. I swear to God, that's exactly what I did. As soon as I looked in the crib, I went, ooh. I said, that is a baby. Whoo, that, all right, I'm going to leave this ugly baby stuff alone because some of you guys really look uncomfortable right now. This is just, <laughs> this is a comedy show. Cap said don't take it serious, but you guys really feel like I'm out here telling people they're ugly. All right, I'm going to get out of here on this. So it's, it's nice to be back out being able to do the comedy and stuff like that, being in front of people again. I was actually in Atlanta a couple of weeks ago, my first time in Atlanta. Anybody ever been? Okay. So I learned Atlanta does some shit different, Okay. So I took myself to brunch when I was in Atlanta, all right? Now, I'm used to brunch being at a restaurant where they have eggs and pastries and, like, a carving station. You know what I mean? Atlanta brunch is just a nightclub open during the day, okay? They had a DJ. They had shot girls serving waffles and mimosas and shit. I got fucking pat down to go into brunch. I've never been checked for weapons to have brunch before. Like, how angry does someone have to be to start shit at brunch? And then what do you even get mad at? Would they fuck up your frittata? Like, I just feel like brunch is the least toughest time of the day. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty confident that we could ask every person that's locked up in jail right now why they're in jail for a violent crime, and I promise you, no story is going to start with, so I was at brunch, right? <laughs> anyway, that's my time, guys. Thank you very much. My name is Damien. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, grown rap. Tired of hearing these old young niggas.
Everybody named the baby. The little baby, the big the baby, my baby, somebody baby. Y'all give it up for Damien. He was nervous. I don't know how the hell y'all scare comedians. Just say what the fuck's on your chest. But one thing about black people, when we don't find somebody funny, we stare at them. <laughs> that stare's deep, too. No matter where he turned, the stare's right there. <laughs> it's fucked up. I ain't been in that stage in a minute, but I know how y'all can get. Motherfucker, stare. Nigga cracking a joke, waiting for y'all to laugh. And so the bitch jumped out the window, and all of a sudden, <laughs> what happened? Oh, never mind. I fucked that joke up. <laughs> Plus, when y'all eat, ain't too much attention going on the stage. It's funny, y'all be watching the comedian like that, yeah. That <laughs> goddamn chicken hitting. Right. We're going to keep it going. Oh, we got another couple that wore the same color. Go ahead, Red. Big Red. What up, player? What you wearing, baby? Red. <laughs> <sighs> it must be good to be couples. For that long? That's a beautiful thing. What you say, Auntie? Fuck no. What, how long was it before your relationship went bad? 30 years? What did he do? What could he do? What the fuck after 30 years? Nigga should be barely walking. Help me up, Stel. Because us 30 years? No wonder you left that nigga home. Are y'all still together? After 30? Well, how old are you? Oh, you, how old today? Oh, mama, you look young as fuck. Yeah. You met that nigga when you was 26? Oh, that was a lot of shit. Let me show you. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. And you got weed there too, you smoke? You a mess, auntie. <laughs> Another one trying to get a little young nigga out here. <laughs> Fuck that old nigga. You done crippled that man, now you ready to throw his ass away. <laughs> that nigga around the house, where you at, Laurie? Laurie? <laughs> where in the fuck she keep going out? <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. See how women, y'all can get away with that shit. A woman can fuck a little young dude and they be like, look at her. Gone, girl. Let a man get him a little young thing, the old pervert bastard. <laughs> Nasty bastard. Fucking with that young girl 10 years younger than him. Hope his nuts fall off. <laughs> it's double standard shit. Women can be gay till they don't want to be gay no more. You know that shit? A woman can straight up be gay, eat a hundred pussies, and say, I don't want it no more. I'm coming back. And we'll accept her back. And she'll tell you the story. You know, when I was in college, because that's where it always starts. When I was in college, I couldn't pay my tuition. And they was about to kick me out of school. Oh my God. And my girlfriend, Keisha, was, she was sitting on the bed with her bra and her panties. And she was like, come here, girl. And I ate her pussy for five semesters. But I don't want to do that no more. Now, let a man come tell his stories. Well, since we being honest, <laughs> you know, they was about to kick me out of school, too. <laughs> oh, I was crying. I didn't know how I was going to pay my tuition. My nigga Rob sitting there with his drawers on, his dick hanging out on the side. He was like, come here, nigga. 
She won't even let you finish the story. Get the fuck out of here, you motherfucker. <laughs> Women eat a hundred pussies and can come back. A man suck one dick, he done. <laughs> there ain't no coming back from that. <laughs> uh, they can get away with it. This shit crazy. All right, let's continue to go with it. <laughs> Niggas. <laughs> Any gay people in here, it was a joke. You know them niggas a protest. No more comedy. <laughs> Be 3,000 niggas running down here. No more comedy. Shut silk down. <laughs> it's only a joke, nigga. If you could take a dick, you could take a joke. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You all right, boo? <laughs> Her face hurt. This is shit. This nigga really crazy. Hi. We're going to keep it going. <laughs> I love y'all. I swear to God. Silk, we got to get a spotlight in here because this uh, fluorescent shit, this ain't working. <laughs> this shit look like a truck about to hit me. <laughs> We gonna have all that light and we still dark. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I ain't mean to put. All right, here we go. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you better get my fifty dollars ready. She laughing. <laughs> she cried. Oh my god. All right, all right. Let's keep it going. You having a good time, player? That's what I'm talking about. That's the family right there. Come on, mama, you all right? Y'all done wore her ass out. You good, Damien? All right. Nervous fucker. <laughs> he was nervous. You ever seen an ugly baby? <laughs> no, but I seen an ugly grown motherfucker. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's go. This next brother I'm about to bring to the stage, this is my dog. Coming to y'all, another Team Capone member, all the way from South Carolina. I need y'all to clap it up. Clap it up for my man, comedian, Hulk. <laughs> DJ, Mr. Button. All right, you ready? We going. Clap it up one more time for my man from South Carolina, comedian, Hulk. Up, DJ. Now don't turn it off. What's going on, Cleveland? I need y'all to loosen up a little bit. You gonna cut it off, you gonna cut it off. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing, man? Hey man, appreciate y'all for coming out, man. Appreciate y'all for coming out. Give it up for yourselves for coming out, man. Real talk. My biggest message to everybody is enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. Enjoy your life while you can, because, you know, tomorrow's not promised. Because y'all see all the stuff that's going on right now. There's a lot of shit going on right now in this pandemic. Let's go through the facts. Let's make some noise that we got Trump ass out the building. Hell yeah. Got his ass out of there. Had them damn people up there at the Capitol building acting a damn fool. Y'all seen it? They was doing all kind of crazy stuff. They up there climbing buildings, starting fires. Now, y'all know that could have been us. Nigga, we wouldn't have made it to the damn steps. <laughs> and they was organized too, you know, they had a little free Wi-Fi, cucumber water and shit. <laughs> that couldn't have been us, man, because y'all know we ain't Martin Luther King and them. They marched for miles in church shoes. <laughs> Nigga, we out there in Jordans, fur slippers. <laughs> Just all wrong, nigga. And y'all know our protests, all of our protests, they start off right. They always start off right until somebody start dancing. Because y'all know us as black people, we cannot go nowhere or do nothing without dancing. Nigga, we would have been out there, we would have been out there, hell no, we won't go. That's what the chant would have started. Everything would have been smooth. To a bitch named Keisha would have started like the electric slide or some shit like that. Y'all know how it would have went. We would have been out there, hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. We're like, Keisha, get your goddamn. <laughs> that is not why we out here. We out here for change, baby. And then out there at the Capitol building, did y'all see it? They had the handicap at the protest. 
Now, I don't find that funny. I just want to know who drove the fucking van. That's what I want to know. Because they driving, hey, look, whoever drove that van going, you know, going straight to hell. Do you know how powerful you got to be to get somebody who ain't got no arms and no legs to come down to a protest? Did y'all see the man who ain't had no arms, no legs? I said, oh, Lord. Me and my grandma was sitting there watching the TV. I said, Grandma, they, they got the man. He ain't got no arms, no legs. And the media, they know I'm ignorant. So I took a screenshot of the man with no arms, no legs, and I made a post, and it went viral. I put, they done let a boneless chicken wing in the. <laughs> Y'all think I'm going to hell for that? <laughs> Tell you, man, like, wait till the next time y'all eat boneless wings. Y'all gonna be like, this nigga here is retarded, man. <laughs> Telling y'all, man, life is too short. Too much stuff been going on. Kurt Franklin them cussed out his damn son. <laughs> and the world go crazy like he did something wrong. Y'all think he did something wrong? Because y'all know we could have never disrespect our parents like that. And y'all got to remember, that wasn't a child he was talking to. That was a grown-ass man. And I know, you know, I know he's a child of God, but you know what I'm saying? I believe the Lord put those words on his heart. <laughs> I believe they need to make a song about it. That nigga said, nigga, if you ever disrespect me again, I'll break your fucking neck. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Because, I, you know, I grew up with my grandmother. And, you know, I couldn't have never disrespect my grandmother like that because we had what was called a switch tree. Y'all know about the switch tree? For those of y'all that don't know about the switch tree, the switch tree ain't have no other purpose. It ain't create shade. Neck to none of that shit. The only purpose it was was for whooping your ass. And the fucked up part about it was they sent you out there to get your own damn switch. You know how stressful and how much that mess with your mind to go out and get something that you know about to cause you pain? And then be beating your ass and say some of the most crazy shit you ever heard in your life. This hurt me more than it hurt you. Bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my grandmother, you know, growing up with my grandmother, my grandmother used to buy bootleg movies all the time. And she used to buy them for my barber, you know, for my barber. So as, you know, we was watching the movie, I remember like it was yesterday, we was watching the Titanic. This nigga bootlegged the Titanic and put himself in the fucking movie. <laughs> so everything was going good. The movie was playing perfect. And right when the shit was going down, this nigga took the camera off the tripod, turned it around and said, nigga, this shit about to go down. I said, what? Put yourself in the movie, man. Grandma, stop buying from the barber, yo. This shit is crazy. <laughs> they got us out here wearing these masks still. Well, see, y'all, y'all ain't got to wear the mask up here. But back home, they still making us wear the mask. But when y'all was wearing the mask, did y'all see the people that was in the car by themselves with their mask on? <laughs> if you ain't laughing at that, you the motherfucker I'm talking about. <laughs> Nigga, you cannot get COVID in the car by yourself with the windows up. Shit is stupid. And you know, I done moved into a nice little, you know, wealthy neighborhood or whatever. And you know, I'm walking in my neighborhood. I ain't got my mask on at all. So this lady, she was jogging and she took all the time out of her day just to stop and say, excuse me, sir, no mask. I said, bitch, no ass. <laughs> you mind your damn business and keep on moving, man. And y'all, please do me a favor. Stop getting these damn vaccines. Stop letting these people poke y'all. Cause they doing, you know, they doing anything to get y'all to do take these damn vaccines. They was giving out Krispy Kreme donuts in my neighborhood for people to go get the damn vaccine. And now they putting y'all name in the lottery to win a million dollars to go get the damn vaccine. You see, for real, something wrong with it. It's a setup. The government don't give out shit free. I'm telling you. The only way they're going to get me to take the vaccine is they say, nigga, if you go get the vaccine, we're going to boost your credit score up by 50 points. <laughs> I kick all y'all niggas in the knees to go get that goddamn. You know how long I've been trying to get a Macy's card, niggas? <laughs> Trying to get that little 15% off. Women 35 and know that. 35 and know to make some noise. Come on, make some noise. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Because, you know, getting older, you know, my grandmother always told me that getting older is a blessing. Which it is, but your body going to start to treat you a lot different when you get older, ain't it? You ever been walking in the mall or something like that and had your knees going to break? Y'all ain't never had this shit right here happen to y'all before? You be sitting there thinking your glucose levels getting low and shit? <laughs> See, I lost a couple fellas. Glucose is a simple sugar. It's a simple sugar. <laughs> and fellas, man, y'all please do me a favor. Y'all see, you know, life is short. Take care of yourself. Go to the doctor. See, I ain't gotta explain that shit to these women because these women, they get like a little gas bubble or some shit like that. They go straight to the doctor in the morning. 
Some of y'all niggas sitting out there right now, your whole left side about to lock the fuck up, thinking you all right. <laughs> Go to the doctor, man. And fellas, please do me a favor. If you losing a hair at the top of your head, nigga, let it go. Please, let it go. Some of y'all niggas be walking around, got a whole cul-de-sac at the top of your head, <laughs> thinking you all right. Y'all know what the cul-de-sac is. When you pull in, you just be going around and around and around. <laughs> niggas be trying to put on do-rags to get some waves. Niggas, sit your stupid ass down. I'm gonna show y'all this right here. Fellas, make some noise if you know who in charge of your DNR. What is it, sir? What is DNR? See what I'm saying? Pay attention to that man right there. See, some of y'all fellas, y'all didn't even know what the hell that is. I'm telling you right now, let your lady fuck around and see your insurance policy. She gonna pull the plug on your ass. <laughs> you gonna be sitting right there in the hospital bed. They gonna be like, we can save him. She gonna look at that shit and be like, hold on, hold on, doc. We don't need that nigga no more. We don't need him no more at all. But I like Cleveland, though, man. You know, I fuss with Cleveland, you know, you know, real talk. I learned how to gamble up here in Cleveland. Uh, any gamblers in here? Yeah. I learned how to gamble at Jack's Casino. If you ain't never been, it's real dope. So I learned how to play blackjack. Y'all know what blackjack is? So for those of y'all that don't know, the objective of the game is to get 21. You got your high cards, those are the jacks, kings, queens, and stuff like that. You got your low cards, those are the tens all the way down. The ace is a one or 11. So for the first four hands, this is why I realized I couldn't count. So for the first four hands, I was getting jacks and kings, you know, queens and stuff like that. Those were 10, so that was 20, so I ain't have to count. The dealer fucked around and gave me an eight and a six. I ain't know what the fuck to do. She's sitting there asking me, she said, sir, do you want to hit or do you want to stand? Now, hit me, you want to take another card, you're trying to get to 21. Stand me, you're too close to 21, you just wave your hand like that. You don't want no more cards. But I couldn't answer the damn question. Because I had my damn hand under the counter. I was like 8, 9, 10, <laughs> 11. The damn, the damn lady, she getting mad at me. She like, sir, 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 we got to keep the game going. Do you want to hit or do you want to stand? Bitch, now you done fucked me up. Now I got to start back over. 8, <laughs> 9, 10. Just crazy, man. Did any studs make it out tonight? Studs? There's nothing wrong with being a stud, man. There's nothing wrong with being a stud. First off, before I even get into it, don't let nobody tell you how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? As long as you know that that's best for you, you ain't got to answer to me, and you ain't got to answer nobody out here. You got to talk to that man upstairs. You feel me? But I got a bunch of them in my family. My family get mad because I talk about them all the time. So I got this cousin named Ashley, and she wear all the nigga accessories. You know, the boots, the pants, the Iverson braids. That's what she wear 95% of the time. She going to come to my grandma's house last year on Thanksgiving with a sundress on, and she was pregnant. So she walked in the house. I looked at her. I looked at my grandma. I said, uh, Ashley, um, my nigga, um, you know what I'm saying? What's going on, baby? You know, what happened? How did this happen? She's still in character, knowing good and well she pregnant. She talking about, yeah, nigga, in this third trimester and shit. Got a nigga chest lactating. I said, get your dumb ass out my grandma's house talking about your chest lactating. She going to call me two weeks ago. You know, she done got her a new apartment. She done had the baby. So she gonna say, cuz, can you come help me move? So you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you family, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come over there and help you move. So I get over there, I'm grabbing all the heavy shit. This bitch picking up lamps and shit. I said, hell no. Be the man you trying to be and grab the other end of that goddamn dresser. <laughs> Not lift, lift, nigga. Fuck. I love telling that joke, man. That's like one of my favorite jokes. I told that joke in Atlanta two weeks ago after the show, I got jumped by four studs. Nigga, they was beating my ass, and one of them yelled, hey, yo, my nigga, go get the strap. It confused the hell out of me, because I didn't know if they was talking about a gun or... <laughs> don't worry, man, don't worry, man. we ain't even going to take it there. We ain't even going to take it there. And while I was down there in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, my cousin, you know, we had our shows going on down there, and he was like, cuz, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, I see you down here, you ain't got to get in a hotel room, you can come stay with me. So I said, all right, cuz, you know what I'm saying, I appreciate you, I love you, but I can't come over there, because every time I come over there, you be inviting your little friends and shit over there, and I like to sleep on my stomach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I don't want nobody to try to get like no little free ass shot, no shit like that. I went over to that nigga house, I put my ass right up against the wall. The nigga said, you can go in the bedroom, go lay down. I said, nah, bro, I'm gonna just sleep right here, just leave me right here. He tried to come offer me a drink, he said, what you, you know, how you want your drink? Straight. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> gonna come to me the next day talking about, hey, have you ever tried a virgin daiquiri? I said, what the fuck is that? I don't know what the hell no damn virgin daiquiri is. He said, it's like a frozen drink, but it ain't got no alcohol in it. 
I said, nigga, you mean an icy? <laughs> that is an icy. People always be trying to put different names and stuff on stuff like that. Man, shit is crazy. But, you know, everything all right, though. You know, I used to sleep with a stud at one time. Everything was going good until she took that goddamn T-shirt off. Titties was just long and flat. Nipples was just long. <laughs> Shits looked like cake decorator bags. I was... I was like, baby, your shit should not be looking like that. You ain't got no kids. She was on top of me. They was long, flat, with stretch marks and shit. I said, baby, these shits are like used IV bags. You got to put these shits up. <laughs> hey, y'all, that's my time. I'm Hulk the Comedian, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of the show. Big pimping, baby. You know why I fuck em, suck em. <laughs> That'd be a nigga who don't know no word to the song. You know why I shove em, piss em, bitch em. <laughs> Little bit of this, a little bit of that. <sighs> Y'all give it up for Hawk one more time. <laughs> ah. Hawk said he stepped with a stud. I wonder why people be ashamed of that. That's just a woman that like of a woman. I have a problem with the Fruit Loop niggas. Like, I don't have a problem with gay people. If you gay, be gay. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tom. That's my boyfriend, Bill. <laughs> we cool. I got a one problem with the niggas who change the vocabulary. The little Fruit Loop niggas. Hello. <laughs> a skill to me. What the fuck is a skill me? <laughs> I, I got into an argument with one of them niggas. <laughs> this nigga like me. I mean, I don't go that way. Don't try to recruit me. <laughs> and they kept looking at me hello. We got into it. I, you know, I'm a street nigga. I said the wrong shit to him. I was like, keep looking at me, motherfucker. I'm going to bust your ass. That nigga said, say word. <laughs> <laughs> you busting asses around here? Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's all around the world, though. Yeah, man. I mean, if you gay, be gay. And just stop hiding it. You know there's gay people everywhere? Africans act like they ain't no gay people. <laughs> when one of them niggas come out, they be embarrassed. The African king come out, we are going to hunt today. <laughs> we are going to fight the lion. We are all going to be brave. And we are going to fight today. A little gay nigga come out the car. I want to go to. <laughs> No, 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 you must stay in the village. No, I want to fight the lion. I am going to fight the lion with you. You will not go. You will stay here and protect the women in the village. I will not. I am fucking going with you. I'm going to take my fear and I'm going to stop the lion. Ah. <laughs> this nigga crying. <laughs> it's fucked up. But you never seen an African gay. You never seen them. <laughs> niggas don't. They act like they don't breed gay men. Yeah, they do. Them niggas be right in the village. They be trying to hide them in there. I am going with you. I am going to tell everybody <laughs> that I am your lover. Get your ass back in the cave. No, I want to fight the lion. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Let's keep it rolling. <sighs> yeah. I want to fight the lion. <laughs> that shit is fucked up. It's going to be sticking in your head. <laughs> You're going to walk past an African dude. Hello, can I help you? <laughs> no. You want to fight the lion. 
I don't know where the fuck I come up with this shit at. I swear. All right, let's have some more fun. I love y'all. Y'all a good fucking crowd. Auntie, you brought the right little nephews and, and cousins and shit. All uh, right, all nephews, nieces. Cut, huh? Fake cousin? Oh, they cousin. You the auntie, yeah. That's what I said, auntie. You bought the fam. Oh, don't try to fucking confuse me. <laughs> She's trying to fuck me up. I'm auntie. That's cousin. That's nephew. That's sister, nephew, brother. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, we got two more. Can y'all hang with me? Y'all having a good time? That's very important, very important. This right here is one of my co-captains of Team Capone. This kid actually traveled with me pretty much everywhere I go, and you'll see why. One of the funniest, youngest, fastest rising comedians that I've ever seen in my life. Please put your hands together for my man Brandon Reeves. Uh. Let's go, y'all. Let's keep it going for Capone, y'all. Cleveland, what's going on? Give it up for yourselves for coming out, supporting live comedy tonight, man. Yeah. Came all the way from the Bronx, New York, to come out here, man. Don't, don't clap. Hold your applause. <laughs> oh, you from the Bronx? That's why you out here, because we don't need to be there. That's <laughs> I only been out here a short time though, man, and I'm already seeing the similarities with Cleveland and New York. It's like a lot of similarities and shit. Like I was downtown, I went downtown and I found out that the homeless people downtown are just like all the homeless people in New York, same shit. It's talented scamming motherfuckers. It <laughs> Some dude came into, homeless dude came to me in the wheelchair. He was like, excuse me, my brother, I don't mean to bother you, but uh, you have a few dollars that I could borrow that you can give to me and I give it back to you when I get it, because if you know me, get down and down. <laughs> I don't like seeing people fucked up, so you know, I gave him some, 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 some singles. At least I thought I gave him some singles, but I actually gave him the 20s I had in my pocket. I turned around to get my money back. The wheelchair was still there, but this nigga was gone. I said, so oh, we in Cleveland, Cleveland, is it? <laughs> Some nigga try to sell me a microwave with no power cord and shit. I said, yo, man, what's the power cord? He said, man, this is the Bluetooth microwave. You don't, you don't need a power cord. It'll connect to the Wi-Fi and heat it up. <laughs> I went and rode the train and shit. The, the what is it, the R, RPA? R, RTA. Oh, uh, nigga. <laughs> that shit just like New York, too. Like, they want you to give up your seat to people. When you get a good seat, you know, pregnant, handicapped, that's some dumb shit. I don't, <laughs> when you get a good seat on the train, you just can't just give it up to anybody and shit. I rode the train, I got on the train, I had a good seat, and I saw this lady coming on at the next stop. She had a stroller and a baby, so I did what anybody would do. I just fake went to sleep. I said, oh shit, time to take a nap. It's, <laughs> it's nap time. Strollers and babies make me sleepy. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I thought the lady was going to bypass me and find a whole new seat. Nah, I woke up out of my fake sleep. The woman standing in front of me with the baby talking about, uh-uh, I know you just try that fuckboy shit. I know you ain't just try to fake sleep. So you don't have to give up your seat. This is what's wrong with black men now. This is why I don't talk to black men now. Embarrassing me on the train. So after a while, I gave in. I said, you know what, miss? You are absolutely right. I said, you are absolutely right, and I apologize, okay? I said, give me the baby. I'll hold him. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I held that baby 15 stops. Man, I give it up my fucking seat. Shitting me? <laughs> I held that baby. I started singing nursery rhymes to him and shit. You ever sing nursery rhymes to a kid that don't belong to you? I'm holding him. I'm like, hush, little baby, don't you cry. I'm going to hold you this whole train ride. <laughs> and I hope your mother has real strong feet, because I'm not going to give up my seat. <laughs> not happening, man. A lot of couples in Cleveland. Couples make some noise. Clap it up, couples. Yeah, that's what's up. How long y'all been together, man? Damn, why you said it like that, nigga? <laughs> nigga said it like he did a bit. How long you was locked up? 17 years. <laughs> Something I didn't even do. <laughs> How long y'all been together, man? First date? Oh, everybody say, aw. Aw, that's annoying, yeah. <laughs> I'm single, though, man, so that's cool. I, I hate seeing happy shit. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm single. I've been single for a minute, too. So I've been single so long, someone asked me how I was with the other day. I said, shit, T-Mobile. <laughs> I 
That's who I'm fucking with right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but see, this is, the, this is the hard part for me, man, this dating shit. This is, this is, I have bad luck, man. You got, this is the first, I'll tell you my first date story with some chick. I was, went out with this chick one time, right? And we was having a good time, just like it happened now. Good time, everything. So I told her, I said, look, you know, I'm really having a good time tonight. I'm happy I came out, and you look really beautiful. She cut me off right then and there. She said, let me tell you something real quick, Branson. I said, what's up? She goes, I want to let you know that I don't give it up on the first date. And I instantly got upset because I didn't say anything about getting none tonight. I said, how beautiful you are, how much fun I'm having. That's what I said. But why don't you give it up on the first date? Why do you, why do you not tell me that before we came? <laughs> so she says, this is what she said, right? She says, well, I don't want our relationship to be just based off sex. I want you to respect me as a woman, you know? I don't want you to look at me as a girl that just gives it up easy, right? Plus, I got a lot going on in my life right now, and I'll feel really bad if I give you something tonight and never hear from you again. I will feel really bad, if that makes sense. I don't know. That's what she said to me, right? And, bro, I had to respect that, right? But then this bill came to the table real fast. And I'm looking at the bill, man. The bill was like $190. It was a crazy bill. But I looked deeper into the bill, and I found out that I only had mozzarella sticks and two beers. So I told the girl, I said, look, I'll put in 40, right? Because that covers the tax and tip, plus that's more than what I had. And she lost her fucking mind. She said, are you fucking kidding me? You invited me out. I thought you were paying. I said, listen, I want to let you know something. I don't pay on the first date. I don't want our relationship to be just off me paying, you know what I'm saying? I want you to respect me as a man. And I got a lot going on in my life right now. And I feel really bad if I pay for this date tonight and never hear from you again. If that makes sense, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, is there a man out there that's gonna take me out and not expect sex? I said, yeah, your father, that's the, that's the guy for you, that's not. <laughs> Funny, you get mad at someone, you find things you don't like about them. Like I said, how beautiful she was, but I found out that her foundation and her neck color was two different colors. I'm serious, her foundation was caramel, but her neck was pancake mix. I said, look, you can't. You can't be two-tone light-skinned. That's against the rules. You can't do that. <laughs> She's like, wow, it's the attitude for me. I said, wow, it's the pancake mix for me. That's <laughs> Fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> pancake mix. But the real reason I'm single, I'm not going to lie to y'all, the real reason I'm single is I got caught cheating in my last relationship. To be honest. Fellas who cheat make some noise. Fellas, where we at? Yo, yo. Fellas. Yo, yo. Yo, my nigga. Yo, yo. This nigga said, no, no. That is you. I don't do that. That's you. Don't leave me hanging, man. Yo, yo. yo, yo. <laughs> Say, yo, yo, don't play. I'm trying to get some pussy. Y'all not going to admit it, man, but I'm going to admit it. I'm going to admit it, right? I don't know about y'all, how, how y'all handle cheating and all of that. But for me, once you catch me cheating, I can't trust you anymore. <laughs> Too fucking nosy. You ain't doing catching me and shit. Can't trust nosy people, man. <laughs> it's true, bro. I can't trust your nosy ass. Fuck your time. <laughs> but you know, I realized too, I realized too, I don't know about the other fellas in here, but, but you know, most men, when we cheat, we really don't have really valid reasons why we do it. Because she asked me, she pressed me, she's like, why you cheat on me? I cook, I clean, I do everything for you. Why you cheat on me? My answer made no sense. I said, because and shit. You be eating all the chips and shit and you double dip. And <laughs> Every time I sneeze, you say, bless you. Are you mad? <laughs> you mad clingy, y'all need space and shit. But ladies don't laugh. Ladies who's laughing don't laugh because ladies, when we catch y'all cheating, if we do catch y'all, Y'all don't answer our questions at all. And we can ask you a straightforward question. You will not answer it straight at all. We'll be like, yo, so you fucked that guy and you bought him food? Y'all be like, this is what you mad about, stupid? <laughs> Nobody got food. <laughs> but you fucked him though, right? No, I never ate anything. This is the problem. You don't, <laughs> you don't be listening to me and shit. <laughs> but being single, you meet people, man. You meet people. Meet people. My, my, my ex broke up with me, true story. Um, anybody here got video games, PlayStation? Anybody focus the video games? My man back there? Okay. My girl, 
my ex, really, she broke up with me. She left me a breakup note. Anybody here ever got a breakup note before? Breakup notes are the worst because you can't reply back. The person's gone. You can't get your feelings out. You can't get your side out. She left a note on my PlayStation saying, I can't do this anymore. This is not working. So I panicked because I just bought my PlayStation. <laughs> but I turned my PlayStation on, it worked just fine, so it was good. <laughs> I called and blacked on. I was like, yo, you put notes on my PlayStation, my nigga? She was like, no, we're not working. I'm not coming back. I said, don't touch my PlayStation no more. <laughs> but now I'm single, meeting people and shit, meeting people. I was in Walmart the other day, and I saw this beautiful girl in there, man, beautiful girl. She had a bunch of bags, and you know, I'm a gentleman, so I asked her if she need help with her bags. I'm like, yo, you need help with your bags? She was like, I mean, if you don't mind, I'm only going across the street. So, you know, as a gentleman, I grabbed the bags, carried them across the street, get to her apartment building, and I see she has no elevator. I was like, you need help carrying your bags upstairs? She goes, I mean, if you don't mind, I'm only going to the 10th floor. <laughs> but no, I was a gentleman. I carried the bags up to the 10th floor. So I get to the door, I drop the bags. I'm like, yo, look, you single, I'm single, we should link up, you know, go get some drinks or whatever. She goes, oh no, I'm not single, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, so as a gentleman, I took the bags back to the store. <laughs> She's like, are you dead serious? I was like, yeah, my girlfriend will kill me. She found out I carried these bags. <laughs> she knew what I was doing. So I like dating older women, man. Any cougars in the house? Make some noise, any cougars? What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck kind of bobcat is that? <laughs> she said, ah. And she did the poor shit. Ah, oh, God damn, yeah. We in Cleveland, Cleveland. This is you need your own Animal Planet documentary on that one. What we have here is one of the albino bobcat. She doesn't make noise like regular bobcats. She's in a class of her own. And she's looking to mate. <laughs> this bobcat, now let me stop. All right. <laughs> but I like older women, man, I really do. I like older women. Oldest woman I was with was like 67 or some shit like that. Y'all old damn, I don't really know much of y'all like that to be talking about me and shit. And she ain't look 67, she looked 66. She looked good for her age. I miss Gertrude, man. We used to do shit, we... <laughs> we did a lot, man. She put me on a lot. We used to, I used to drink wine with her and shit, take naps, watch All in the Family, you ever watch... What, drink wine with an old woman and watch All in the Family? Man? Boy, the way Glenn Miller played. <laughs> Songs that make the hit parade. Guys like us, we had it made. <laughs> yeah, those were the, yeah. And you knew where you were then. <laughs> That's my shit, man. One thing, though, fellas, man, fellas, where we at, fellas? Make some noise. Let the dogs out, fellas. Where we at? All right, I'm going to try this one more time. Fellas, where we at? Let the dogs out, fellas. Let me hit them shits. This nigga sound like some stabbed sea lions in here. <laughs> fellas, man, I'm single. I know, you know, a lot of y'all are not, man, but practice safe sex, man. It's 2021. Let's keep practicing safe sex, for real. I know there's a lot of older gentlemen in the crowd. No disrespect, brother. I know you don't believe in condoms, but... Older dudes used to wrap their shit up with collard greens back in the days, eh? <laughs> Let me get the collard green stem so I can tear you the pussy up real quick. <laughs> now, nah, but practice safe sex, man, for real, man, for real. Safe sex is important, safe sex. Just because you wear a condom, fellas, does not mean you practice in safe sex. I'm here to tell you. Just because you wear a condom does not mean you practice in safe sex. My boy in New York was messing around with this chick, true story. He was messing around with this chick in New York, man. He went over to her house to have sex, and he put a condom on. But when her boyfriend walked in, he still got shot anyway. So, <laughs> safe sex is up here, fellas. It's not down here. You know what I'm talking about? 
<laughs> but I'm about to get up out of here, man. Um, before I get out of here, I just realized, man, this pandemic made me realize that we live in a generation right now, man, people care more about their cell phones more than they care about themselves. You notice that? It's true, you can run up on random people in the street and ask them, like, yo, man, you got health insurance and life insurance? Like, man, fuck out. I ain't got no fuck health insurance, life insurance. And you got insurance for your cell phone? Nigga, hell yeah, it's the iPhone 12. You crazy? <laughs> but I found out, man, with phones, you got to be careful, man. I got hacked by Domino's the other day, man. Domino's hacked my phone. They kept sending me pizza deal text messages and shit. So the last message they sent me, they said, yo, Brandon, if you still want to receive our pizza deals, reply yes. If you don't want more deals, reply no. I replied, no, I'm good. I don't eat pizza that much. You got to text me no more. They sent me a message back saying, okay, we're now going to remove you from our list. I got mad and sent a message back saying, you see what the fuck I'm talking about? <laughs> when I text you the last time, that's supposed to be the last message. Stop texting me. I don't eat pizza that much. Can you believe I got a message back saying, hey, yo, my man, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> I got so scared I sent a message back like, Domino's? I went and called customer service on my phone. You ever call customer service for your cell phone? They will do this shit to you, right? If you want to continue in English, press one, right? And you go and you press one, and this guy gets on the phone. Thank you for calling T-Mobile. This is Christian Sebastian. <laughs> ID number 2518. May whom they have the pleasure to speak with? You'd be like, uh, nigga, I press one. Who the fuck? <laughs> That's my time, yo. I have fun with y'all, man. I'm Brandon Reeves. Keep supporting Silks. Keep supporting live comedy, man. Let's keep the energy going for your host, Capone, y'all. Uh, 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 uh. Once upon a time, and I heard that that was the sentiment. And the bitch had the settlement. Living in the running and the motherfucking telling it. I don't know what the fuck they be saying. Once upon a time, and the bitch had the settlement. Give it up for Brandon one more time. All right, we got one more special guest. <sighs> I like talking shit. We should add in another show next time. I think people come out late. Do y'all come out late in Cleveland? Not really. Okay, good. <laughs> another show. I'd have been asleep on this fucking state. <laughs> Fuck, that is certain shit I know I can't do. That's right. <sighs> well, we having a good time so far, and we got a special guest, so y'all got a bonus show. A bonus. What do y'all do after this? Y'all don't go no, because I feel sorry for the 5 o'clock people. These niggas come to the show, finish at 6, 7. Ain't nothing else they got to do. <laughs> Man, where you want to go now? Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> y'all smart. I'm getting old now, too. I'm tired of this traveling shit on a plane. I'm only going to start doing shows I can drive to. Motherfucking plane is. That shit is a whole circus in itself. Niggas making you put on a mask, and all of a sudden, these stewardess bitches getting tough. Put it across your nose. I'm like, bitch, I can't breathe. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. Shit ain't meant for everybody. Fucking mass. A lot of the mass revealed a lot of shit that we didn't know. Like you, you wonder why people would flinch when you talk to them. You know why now. <laughs> that mass gave you your own shit. <laughs> I remember I put one on. I was like, who the fuck had? Who had this shit on before me? God damn, that breath is hard. God damn, nigga. <laughs> and they get so uppity in the airport, too. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, you know. That shit, that instant, it make you mad. You're like, bitch, you know you can't breathe either. Fuck is you making me put this shit on my nose for? And I ain't gonna lie, on the plane, I be doing all kinds of dumb shit. I act like I'm asleep just to keep my shit down here for like 10 minutes to catch breath. These white people look right at you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. And they do dumb shit too. 
Why are we doing dumb shit because of this COVID shit? They give you a little napkin when you go on the plane and you look down the aisle and all you see is white people wiping. So the lady says, is it my, I have um, Clorox wipes. You don't mind? I couldn't take it no more. I said, bitch, what if the plane crash? What are we going to do? You done wiped all this shit down and we're going to die, <laughs> dumb bitch. No, because it's getting too out of hand now. Government has got us fucked up. Everything can stay open at 10 o'clock. Like COVID is outside. Let the nigga stay out. <laughs> Let the nigga stay out to 1030. They ass is grass, nigga. <laughs> Shit gotta stop. This one nigga got all of us panicking, Dr. Fucci. He the same nigga that had the AIDS and the Ebola. What happened to Ebola? Them Africans ran, because they only hit Africans first. Them niggas scared the shit out of Ebola. <laughs> Come over here and see what's going to fucking going to happen. <laughs> Ebola was tough for the first week. I'm going to kill everybody. Them Africans said, Come over here, we will eat you, motherfucker. <laughs> niggas had Ebola soup. All kinds of shit. Now they're taking the vaccine and they got niggas taking the shot. I'm not taking shit. Nigga gonna have to put something in there that I might like. <laughs> they need to trick us. Tell big bitches they got ham shots. <laughs> Go ahead, put, put them on. <laughs> Put that goddamn roast pork in that mother. <laughs> it's gonna be serious, man. You look serious. You got the shot? You did, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> you feel all right though? Your arm hurt a little bit? Well, you got it recently? The the first one wasn't enough to tell you? Yeah. Now I bet you won't. <laughs> Your fucking arm gonna walk by itself. Get the fuck. You think I'm gonna keep taking this shit? <laughs> shit. You got a job that made you do it or you just said fuck it? Yeah, no reason. <laughs> Same reason why they giving it to you. No reason. Anytime them niggas put that type of fucking title on it, we're not responsible. If you die, if it's something, don't blame us. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Only way they're going to get me. You got, you got the shot? No. You short. <laughs> you can pretend you a little kid. Shave that shit off. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Fuck that. Any way to get out of that shit. Huh? Hell no. Some men took it just to please women. Yeah, women can make anybody, every nigga in here take a shot because of a woman. You want some of this here pussy? <laughs> nigga roll right down to the clinic. Shoot, her, her, put that shit in there. <laughs> <sighs> nah, man, I can't do it. I'm just like a rebel. It probably might be good. I ain't going to say it's bad, but I can't fuck around. It's just too much. I, I just can't. I can't take that the government has been trying to kill us for years. And all of a sudden, these niggas got to change your heart. Let's help them. The fuck out of here. These niggas done put us through slavery. We beat that. Put us through goddamn AIDS, drugs. We beat that. They didn't know. White people fucked up on drugs worse than us. They tried to put it in our neighborhoods, and white people found a way to come to our neighborhoods. You got that shit? And it's so funny because I don't ever condone bad shit like drugs. But black, black people, we, gotta, we, we sustain a lot of shit. Do you realize when they gave us dope, it was different? It could be the same dope, but it affect different people different ways? That made black people strong. Them niggas will fall asleep right there, start a conversation. 
You know, you know James. James almost. James almost John. <laughs> but you know that Latin people will take the same drug and they won't have the same effect. Latin people don't want you to know they use the drugs. Them niggas will be right all the way. Oh, your papa, how you doing? What time are you? You're going that way? You're going over there? I'm going to go this way. Like that. <laughs> White boys don't give a fuck. They tell you they took it right there. Yo. That shit right there. They don't even realize they're schooling on you. Where you get it from? Yo, let me take you. This dude, right here. <laughs> yeah, man. We've overcome that. We losing this battle, though. The, the internet battle, we are losing the internet battle. That's why I always try to tell us people, stick strong. Because that internet is trying to fuck us up. That's why they keep showing police brutality. You think they don't kill white people or Puerto Ricans? They do. But they don't never show it. They keep showing us. Make us mad. You get mad as soon as you see the sign. Whoa, what the fuck, nigga? <laughs> yeah. They want to keep us mad. I'm telling you. You got you to gotta be headstrong. Stay off of that internet sometime. Let it freeze. That shit will make you angry. Every time you turn around, somebody fucking somebody. You know when a relationship is fucked up. Women, woo! Women, y'all cannot hold it back. Soon as you get a new nigga. Oh, God. God be the glory. He knew my story. Two weeks later, niggas ain't shit. The devil is a lie. Oh, my God. It's true. We always know when shit going fucking. Have you ever noticed that nobody doing bad on the internet? Got my new house. Bitch, that's your mama house. <laughs> so just be strong, y'all. Be strong. I'm about to bring up my special guest, but I had to relay that message. I'm going to try to sell y'all my merchandise before I leave because we ain't sell out. And we, we don't sell out that, that little money life. Silk, Silk be looking out, but he's smart. That nigga be, that nigga do the numbers, huh? 37, 42. That's why we ain't got no light, right yet? <laughs> if y'all keep coming and we sell out, we can get a spotlight. <laughs> we working on that shit. This nigga got the 1932 Beat disco light. <laughs> I know that was in the Vogue video. Don't choke, mama. <laughs> I like y'all. Y'all my favorite couple, 17 years. Y'all better catch up, 15. Y'all got kids? Grown, right? One grown and young one, too? Don't they get on your nerves? You don't realize the COVID that you don't like your goddamn kids no more? <laughs> I got a daughter that I, I'm, 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 I'm still going through the blood test. They told me she was mine three times. Oh, no, fuck that. <laughs> no, sir. This is somebody else's child. My daughter's evil. I hate to say it. She's evil than a motherfucker. Try to love her. It's hard to love her. I knew my daughter was changing when she got dick the first time. She was my favorite child. I walk in the house. That's daddy, baby. That's mommy, baby. That's daddy, baby. We did that shit until she was like 12 years old. That daddy, baby. That daddy, baby, baby. 14, she got fucked. I walked in the house. That's daddy, baby. She was like, oh, my God, you're killing me. <laughs> Dick changed her. Dick changed her. Her mother called me talking shit. Talking shit to me. This little bitch is fucking... You need to come and be a father and go talk to your daughter. And I tried to talk to her, but I was wondering why her mother ain't talked to her. 
I try, I try to play the old hurt shit. Oh, baby, what happened? And right away, the grown shit popped out. Oh, daddy, come on. It happened once. Get over it. I swear I wanted to knock this bitch out. But if I knew I hit her, I would go to jail. I mean, that's her pussy. I'm not going to jail for her pussy. She gave it up. So I tried to be a gentleman and tried to do the right thing. Tried to be a father and said, look, baby, don't rush this. This is the time for you to grow up and figure out what you want to do in life. And she was like, oh, God. Like, I'm talking, and she's going, oh. That's when I wanted to punch her on top of her fucking head. Because I know if you hit her on top of the head, it won't show up in court. <laughs> so I'm an old school dude. And I remembered. I remember one thing. Every school had a rumor about a person. And you never knew how that rumor started. But you knew to stay away from that person. So with all this internet shit going on, I took a picture of my daughter and put it up on the post. And I said, this bitch pussy stank sin. <laughs> she came from school crying, Daddy, nobody want to talk to me. I don't know why nobody's speaking to me. <laughs> I don't know if y'all, y'all might not agree with me, but her grades went the fuck up. <laughs> All that popular shit, no, no, you ain't got time to fuck. It was right before graduation, two months left. I sent another post. Her pussy still stinking sin. <laughs> bitch graduated in honor roll. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it won't be too much fucking no more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are y'all ready for my special guest? All right. I'm going to tell you right now. Y'all are in for a treat, and I'm going to tell you why. I've been rocking with this cat. Now his year is about 30 year, his 30 year anniversary. Uh, I think I got 27 years in. Uh, the great thing about this is, this is one of the hardest jobs to keep reinventing yourself. I've done movies, I've done TV, I've done a lot of shit. But when you get the opportunity to revamp yourself, it's such an incredible feeling. And uh, I see the joy because when we started, he never imagined that he would have his sons doing the same thing that he's doing. And he has raised three powerful young comedians. And now his son and him is going against each other on a competition of America's Got Talent. And it's an amazing story, and I'm glad he's here tonight because his family is out here and they had a gathering, and he said he just was going to come through. So uh, enjoy the treat with my man, Green Eyed Bandit, Gerald Kelly. And this is what it feels like. And this is what it feels like. What up, Cleveland? Let that play. I want to hear Nipsey's voice. Let it play. What's up, y'all? Nah, the only reason I survive because a nigga is special first. You get successful, then it gets stressful thirst. Niggas gonna test you. See what your texture's worth. Diamonds and bites, one of them pressure first. Street niggas, still I get checks and spurts. I'm for peace, but before I get pressed, I'm murk. Better days, pray for, but expecting worse. At this level, boy, shit, I'm just less concerned. Cruising in the six, looking at the proceeds of rap music on my wrist. Drop another mixtape, my shit booming out this bitch. Young Malcolm, I'm the leader of the movement out this bitch. Look, and this is what it feels like. Reach a level, make you question, is it real life? Nipsey Hussle, baby, rest in peace, Nipsey. Oh man, Jay Z murdered that shit though. Motherfucker, <laughs> Jay be saying some shit for that. 
if he wasn't, uh, you gotta be, Jay, he told him, he said, I gotta be careful because these motherfuckers is, you gotta be careful when you talk that shit, them crackers, boy. Y'all good? Y'all, y'all motherfuckers over here is cool. Y'all niggas over here, like y'all at a funeral or some shit. <laughs> this is a guest spot. I'm not getting paid for this shit, nigga. I just so happen to be in Cleveland, so I'm gonna come sit over here. These motherfuckers over here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You good, bro? You good? You good? You sure? You got to have that energy, man. What the fuck? Wake up. Nigga, life is over soon, nigga. You see me and my son on America's Got Talent? Me and my seven-year-old son just made comedy history. We was on NBC's America's Got Comic, Com- America's Got Talent last week. Tuesday night, set the motherfucking internet on fire, man. Fa- first father and son in the history of stand-up comedy to be on national television. The first father and son in the history of comedy. I know it's hard to get niggas to clap and be, be happy for another nigga, but you know. <laughs> what up, Cleveland? What's up, auntie? How you feeling, darling? God bless you, queen. How you doing? You having a good night? God bless you, baby. You all right? Anything you want, I got you. You okay? All right. God bless. Oh, man. This is beautiful, man. Black people coming out. Coming out. Coming out. What, what? Come on now. I see you outside coming in here a little late. Better late than never. Nah, it's all good though. Shit, we need, they needed live motherfuckers in here like you. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Ah, oh, man, Cleveland. Shit, Cleveland. I've been down this motherfucker two days. Y'all niggas crazy as a motherfucker down here. Cleveland niggas is crazy. Cleveland motherfuckers, will, especially niggas, black motherfuckers down here, will disrespect you and compliment you at the same time. Yo, you fat motherfucker, you doing your thing. I'm proud of you. Y'all see your little ugly ass kid on TV, he doing his thing. He gonna be a star, little ugly motherfucker. That's black people. <laughs> I'ma stay till Monday, don't nobody tonight invite me to their church. I don't go to nobody's church from out of town. You fucking around, go to the wrong church, you be in there all week, you're like, oh, come on. When the fuck they let out, God damn. You'll be in church so long, you look out the window, all the churches going home, but yours, you're like, you be yelling at the pastor, they get a pastor, everybody letting out. You be giving them hints, game on, nigga, game on. Playoffs, nigga. <laughs> I like going to a big church, man. Church in Georgia where I live now, 5,000 members, nigga. You missed six weeks, nobody even know you was missing. You go to them little ass churches, you miss one week, nigga, you come back the next week, the pastor looking for you. You miss Bible study. Went to a ghetto-ass funeral the other day. Oh, my God. This pandemic was fucked up, man. Last, especially last year. It was real bad. Everybody was out of work. Niggas was doing funerals two for one. I went to a funeral. It was two motherfuckers in a, one coffin. <laughs> two niggas in one coffin at the funeral. The two for one deal. And they didn't even know each other. These motherfuckers are not niggas. A Spanish family and a motherfucking black family. Sitting on two different sides. They had to lift up Harold to look at Jose. <laughs> Can't live your life in fear like Capone was saying. All this walking around in fear. Put, put your mask on when you can, you know what I'm saying? One point, I ain't trust nobody. I was eating my wife's pussy with a mask on. She's like, your tongue feel different. Yeah, I got three masks on, bitch. You be in the clubs too much. I don't trust no one. <laughs> and then, you know, black people, we ain't shit. You know, we, we, we smart, but, you know, we, when a nigga cough around you with, with the pandemic, nigga, you stop in the middle. Yo, hold on, you good, nigga? You sure you all right, motherfucker? Get the fuck. You ever hold your cough, your sneeze in? Because you don't want everybody to think you got the pandemic. You got the corona. <laughs> black people, as soon as we sneeze, we identify the sneeze right away. <clears throat> Fucking allergies, these motherfuckers. We won't let motherfuckers know this ain't the corona. <coughs> God damn, the asthma. Arthritis, we making it anything. Child support, nigga. Hachoo, this gout, what the fuck? Making me sneeze? I'm tired of dumb shit, man. Every time somebody real old die, every time somebody real old die, motherfuckers be crying. My grandmother died, my boy grandmother died. She was 106 years old. This nigga called me crying like a six-year-old got shot. 
I said, man, how long you wanted Big Mama to live, nigga? He's like, man, this shit is fucked up out here, man. Life ain't fair. <laughs> we wasn't even expecting no shit like this, nigga. She went too soon, nigga. How the fuck a buck oh six go too soon? Right on top, nigga. Then they're gonna talk about at least grandma and grandpa are, are back together again. Stop putting niggas back together again. Grandpa died 42 years ago. He got a new bitch in heaven. He got new kids. He got a whole new relationship. They got a whole new life in heaven. This nigga come through the gate. He, he don't even, <laughs> she come through the gate. He don't even recognize her ass. She come to the gate in a wheelchair. Leroy. Leroy. Leroy be in the back like, yo, who the fuck calling me by my earth name? They done let my motherfucking earth bitch up here? I'm getting the fuck out of here. They let this bitch up here. Come on, Leroy. First of all, bitch, they don't call me Leroy up here. Up here is L to the whistle, bitch. L to the whistle. Don't get it twisted. But we back together. No, we not. The bitch said the death do its part. You died, I died. Don't come up here. I've been, watch I've been watching you for 42 years. You fucked my brother. You suck my cousin dick. You steal all my money. You don't call my mother. Come on, Leroy. <laughs> Only black people do that shit, man. Black people like they got all the answers when somebody die. As soon as somebody die, first thing a nigga say, at least they in a better place. How the fuck you know grandma ain't in hell suffering? It's some bullshit. I know I'm in the choir. I'm not supposed to be down here sweating. Then they show her the chart. The chart lets you know why you made it to hell. <laughs> they show her the chart. She be like, what? Let me see it. Because y'all man, my God is awesome. Hold on, hold on. Suck six dicks at the church. That was 1996, y'all holding on to it. <laughs> so cocaine at the baby's after school program. Ah, uh, might as well get comfortable. <laughs> they got it on paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm tired of big motherfuckers that's bigger than me trying to give me weight loss advice. Fuck out my face, nigga. <laughs> This nigga, three me's. <laughs> Gonna walk up to me the other day, and be like, big man, you wanna get rid of that? I'm like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I can do what I did, cause I was once 600 pounds. I said, all right, how much you now? 598. <laughs> I said, make it the fuck out of my face, nigga. And let me get my order in. <laughs> oh man, I got stepchildren, anybody got stepkids? Hey ladies, 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 shh, there you go. You got to train some of these niggas in Cleveland, boy. This, this motherfucker having a whole new conversation right there. Fuck you learn how to whisper in a helicopter. You loud as hell, too. She, she's like, yeah, girl. You ever try to have a good time and somebody give you some bad news? You laugh. <laughs> that nigga funny. You know Jerome just died and came across my plane. <laughs> oh, man. Going through a divorce? Anybody going through a breakup? Yeah. My wife wanted a separation. I'm like, no, nigga, we're not separating. We divorcing, bitch. Fuck that. I hate when somebody act like they weren't happy. You like you weren't you you weren't happy, motherfucker. You think I was happy? I played along just like you, motherfucker. You know you fucked up in a relationship when you look in the mirror. I knew I knew I fucked up. I fucked up. I, I did I did everything the right way though that a man's supposed to do. And this shit just ran its course. I just got a fucked up chick, man. I, I knew, I should have known right away, man, this motherfucker. Damn. But you, but you look in the mirror, sometimes your reflection keep it real with you. You ever look in the mirror and talk to yourself? You want to get, you want to tell them, you want to get the right shit out? My reflection fucked me up one night. I was looking in the mirror cap. I was talking in the mirror. I was like, how this bitch going to leave me? I take care of the kids. I pay all the bills. My reflection did like this. What about the hoes you was fucking? Huh? Nigga, who the fuck you, you? Nigga, nigga, who you with? Yeah, what about the time you brought the stripper to the crib? Oh, this motherfucker snitching on me. <laughs> if you can look at yourself in the mirror and go, you know what? Uh, 
I'd have left me too. I used to love my wife, man. I still do. I can't stand her kids. That was the problem right there, stepkids. I hate these motherfuckers. No, no, it ain't even a joke. I ain't even got no punchline. I hate these motherfuckers. They don't like me. I don't like them. I, and you feel me? Anybody got stepchildren? Anybody been through that shit before? Anyone ever been with stepchildren? No? Do, y'all know what I'm talking about? Anybody? <laughs> these niggas sleep back here. These old niggas are sleeping about. <laughs> Tell cousin, put the phone down. Come on, put the phone down. Show going on. You, and you family, too. Put the motherfucking phone down. You know how disrespectful that is? God damn, watch comedy shows on TV. You'll never see a nigga in the front with the phone. That's that young generation. You ever see a young generation? These motherfuckers will walk right to the train. <laughs> how long y'all been together? Huh? First date? God bless. Take your time. Now, I don't even take your time, do you? Man? Life is short. Fuck that. Nigga, don't, don't get me. My, y'all two right there, L.A. hat. Y'all, y'all a couple? Okay, how long you been together? I'm going to ask your brother. I don't want to talk to the woman no more. But how long you been together, bro? See what I'm saying? See, she did like, she did like this. And she got away with it. If that would have been you doing that shit, the whole ride home. So you going to do this, huh? You just going to do this with the motherfucking comedian action. How long we been together? That's how you value me? Nigga, my marriage was so bad, I used to watch my motherfucking wedding tape backwards. I used to watch that shit in reverse. Watch me take the ring off the bitch finger. Watch me walk out the church. Watch me get my deposit money back from them tuxedos. Watch me be happy again. Watch me get off my knee from proposing. Tough being a step parent, man. I bought my stepson some fake Jordans. This nigga got upset one day and gonna tell me these ain't the real Jordans. I said, nigga, you ain't the real son. Now get your fake ass out of my real face. I got kids. Fuck, I look like buying a fake kid the real Jordans. <laughs> that nigga had a whole J missing. He walked around with some blue and red Ortons. Shit. That virtual school fucked up too. Can't take, I couldn't take that shit. The teachers don't have their Wi-Fi together. My son teacher called me one day. Little Hunter was talking in class. I said, no, he wasn't, bitch. He was talking in the living room. Get your Wi-Fi together. I'm not the homework parent. I'm glad that I didn't have to do none of that homework this year, though. I don't know none of that shit. My son passed the homework to me. I passed it right back to him. He come home in the house, he be like, Daddy. I be like, nigga. We stand there for like an hour, huh, 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 huh. I'm like, make this motherfucker homework out of my face. You, you know my GED's under investigation? One time I did my little son's homework for him. That nigga came home, all the homework wrong. I said, man, why are you crying? The teacher, the teacher gave me two zeros. I said, how the fuck you get two? She said, one for me and one for you. She said, you need to go back to school for the big niggas. I said, man, fuck your teacher. She said you was going to say that, so she told me to tell you, fuck you too. She said, you ain't really my father, motherfucker. I said, she's saying all that shit? Oh, man. Motherfucking teachers, boy, that's school, boy. Anybody got daughters? Who got daughters? Daughters? We got daughters and sons. Raising daughters was easy for me, man. Little girls go to school looking one way, come home looking better. Tell you about their day, too. Had, a, had an accident in my clothes. Catch up on my uniform, daddy. Running my stockings. Hair got messed up at gym, but God is still good. Because my mother always says, break a change of clothes. I had a new uniform in my book bag. My teacher did my hair at lunchtime because she has a hair salon. She does hair on the weekends. I love you, daddy. The little motherfucking boys, you ever pick them niggas up? They don't never come home with the shit you send them to school with. Where the fuck is your hat at? Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't even know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I throw that, I throw that hat on the hat, then I didn't throw that hat on the hat. Where's your shoe, motherfucker? You got on one shoe. They start looking. I don't, I don't even know. It's because I, I went to school with two shoes, and then I, I didn't go to school with two shoes. How you get 
a fucking hole right here in your shirt. I don't even know how I got the hole, but I just know it was chilly in my chest. All day it was chilly. My chest was chilly than the mug, daddy. And if you're not with the mother no more, fellas, you know, you're looking to start an argument. You, you, who sent you to school one shoe? Mommy. You call a sister up with that bullshit? Hello? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord my ass. Why my son, little son in school with one fucking shoe? Black women smooth. You stupid motherfucker. You think I'm going to send my baby to school with one shoe? That bitch you with now be sending her kids to school with one motherfucking shoe. Don't call here unless you call about that tuition and that child support, you stupid motherfucker. I bet you ain't got no shoes on, click. Now you're looking at your child. Why you lying, motherfucker? I don't know. I, I, I told it was mommy. It wasn't really mommy. I go visit my daughter's school. The teacher's upset that I came. She's like, Mr. Kelly, I don't know why you come. This is all her work. She's angelic. She's the reason I teach. You, go, you ever go to your son's school? You go to this nigga's school and see one teacher. As soon as you walk into school, all the teachers come out. Is that your motherfucking child? Oh, no, 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 I'm not his teacher, but when you get a fucking chance, come see me. The janitor, this nigga not even a teacher. Is that your motherfucking child? Oh, meet me in the mop room, meet me in my office. That motherfucker stole a broom. You ever sit in the classroom and wait and wait to see your, te your son's teacher? And as you wait, you look around the board to see if you see this nigga work on the wall? You, you sure that's your class, motherfucker? I don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I think it's my class. You ain't even on the wall, motherfucker. Because sometimes they be taking me off the wall. I was on the wall. Jose got a thousand on the fucking test. You ain't even on the... Why are you not on the wall, motherfucker? The wall be sometimes... The wall be taking me off itself. Where's your shoe? Oh, man. Where the gay dudes at? Any gay dudes here, gay fellas? Gay fellas, where y'all at? <laughs> Motherfuckers don't never represent, man. <laughs> gay girls, any gay girls here? That's, that's different. Gay girls don't even be coming out. Them motherfuckers are smooth. Fellas, watch out for your girl when the gay girls is out, nigga. You think you got, <laughs> you think you got that shit on right, on lack, nigga. She come up to you, smile. I like that outfit. Your girl is wearing. <laughs> Heard it this morning. <laughs> Next thing you know, nigga, she got she, your ass. Your girl is gone, nigga. Eating pussy. <laughs> How could you cheat on me? And gay girls all over the country, I do these shows, man. Gay girls will never get upset. It's, you know what I'm saying? They never get upset. They don't go, don't do no gay girl jokes. Nah, nah. It, it, you do one gay dude joke. It be one gay nigga in the audience. He upset. He go outside and make one phone call. Nigga, it's over. It be 88 of them niggas outside. They be outside with picket signs. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut the bitch down. Shut the show down. Shut that bitch down. Gay dudes taking over. Them motherfuckers gonna have their own amusement park soon. Six fags. <laughs> they gonna have one ride, the 30 foot cock. That's the scream machine. As soon as they walk in, ah! That line be longer than a motherfucker to get on that ride, nigga. It be 80,000 motherfuckers on that line. Been online for a month. <laughs> they gotta have their own superhero too. Gay man. Gay man gonna be loud. He gonna be loud in the motherfucker. He adds it to it. Bitch. 
gangsters be like, fuck you, gay man, suck my dick. <gasps> Sounds tempting. <laughs> Sounds intriguing. But not around here, to the K cave. You'd <laughs> be in the K cave on the K pole the whole episode. Ta -na 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 -na. Well, nothing kill gay man. Bullets bounce right off him. Bing! Some pussy will destroy him. <laughs> Them niggas throw some pussy on gay man. Ah! 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 What is this? What is this substance? Oh my God, it's Clint tonight. Clint tonight. It's Clint tonight. Who put Clint tonight on me? Will the Clint tonight destroy a gay man? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Let's steal yours. I'm sorry, man. It's, it's, it's. You missing out on a good time, man. Life is too motherfucking short. Not enjoying yourself. She texted a nigga that's not even here. You good, bro? You good? God bless you, man. For real. How you doing, baby? You all right? You tired? Why are you tired? That's okay. Don't worry about it. See, you got to come out and have a good motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? L.A. You from L.A.? Detroit. What up, though? Detroit. They be killing niggas for no reason. What's going on, cuz? How you feeling? You good? Young old nigga here. This nigga. <laughs> This nigga 3085. <laughs> I think a young and old. <laughs> oh. Cap, you wanna do it with me, Cap? Where you at? You wanna do it with you want you wanna actually you ain't got no another microphone? You wanna do the interviews? You got another mic, another mic? Give us a second, y'all. Yes. We're going to do this, this joke I've been doing all over the country, man. It's a treat for y'all. Y'all ready? Ah, oh, man. This next song I'm going to do is uh, it's a song that's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> oh, shit. I had a gym membership, too. I got rid of that shit. Nigga. I met Janet Jackson recently, nigga. She was like, your eyes are to die for. You're beautiful, nigga. I threw my membership out the window, nigga. <laughs> fuck workout, nigga. Cook out, eat out, <laughs> take out. If bitch don't like it, she can get the fuck out. <laughs> Any chick say something to me, I'll be like, Janet like me. You ready? Let's go. So what we gonna really do right now, this is dope. Everybody, everybody, give yourselves a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> it's a joke I've been doing across the country since we lost the legendary DMX, man. One more one time for DMX. So when X died, it got me to thinking, what if DMX did an interview from heaven? What if DMX did an interview from heaven? And, 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 and one of the DJs or one of the comedians, let's say the gangster comedy Capone on his, on his podcast is about to inter interview DMX from heaven. He's going to let his crowd know, and he's going to check to see if DMX is there. Go ahead, Cap, take us away, baby. Wow. It's a really sad time right now. But y'all ain't gonna believe this. I got an exclusive, exclusive interview with the great DMX. Cause y'all know I'm into these stones. And these stones, you can talk to people. So, bear with me. Mm. DMX, is that you? Yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm here, Cap, you there? Y'all I'm here, y'all I'm here, y'all I'm here, you there? DMX. Yo, yo, tell your DJ turn the music down a little bit. You know, up in heaven, we can hear the nigga, you know what I mean? You know, you know, you can't play that up here, you know, God is listening, what? Talk to me, Cap, what you got? So, is it true that 
Well, I know much as you prayed on earth, you made it to heaven. Are you in heaven? Oh, I'm here, nigga. You know, yeah. What you expect? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I was a street nigga. You know, I did my dirt. You know what? I did my dirt. You know, you know, but God is a forgiver. My God is a forgiving God. You know, He He hear the prayers of the of the sinners. You know, so, you know, I'm up here. It's, it's beautiful up here. You know what I mean? So, so you mind if I ask you a few questions? Like what? <laughs> uh huh. Did. Did Biggie make it up there? Biggie Smalls? Yeah. Yeah, I seen Big this morning. Big look good, you know. You know, Brooklyn, you know, I said, yo, Big lost weight. Big ain't big no more, you know what I mean? You know, Big been up here for a while. I said, yo, Big. I was like, yo, Big, how you doing? You know, you look at, you know, Big was like, oh, oh, I'm doing good, nigga, oh. So, so if Big is up there, is Tupac up there? Yo, that's crazy. I'm, I'm glad you asked that. You know, that fucked me up. You know what I mean? They said Pac was here, then he left. <laughs> they said he was here, then they left. I'm like, uh, why you left? You know what I mean? They said he didn't like the fact that Big was up there. They still holding on to old shit, you know, bad boy, you know, the death row, let that shit go. You know what I mean? It's God. You know, heaven is good. You know what I mean? So, so you know, with all the allegations that here on earth, um, did Michael Jackson make it up there? Yeah, that's crazy. You asked me that, Capone, you know what I mean? Yeah, because that's the first thing I look for. You know, I was looking for Mike, you know what I mean? Then I found out. Dark skinned Mike is up here, you know what I mean? <laughs> the dark skinned Mike is here. The light skinned nigga, you know, with the fake nose and all that pleasant and the little kids. No, nah, no, nah, that nigga not up here, you know, you know. The ABC, I want you back. That nigga's here, you know. And that little, you, know? you are not alone, nigga. Nah, that nigga not here. So, I, I, I hate to ask this question, but you got any girls up there in heaven? Oh, yeah, it's, 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 let me say, it. God just told me this morning, I saw Jesus this morning, you know? He told me, you know, I, you know, you know I, got, I got one curse word per year, you know? I'm gonna use it right now, you know? You know I'm looking around, make sure Jesus ain't watching, you know, because he's always watching. <laughs> always keep Jesus around me, you know? I'm gonna use the word bitch. There's some bitches up here, Cap. <laughs> There's some bad bitches in heaven. Oh, you think you think it's some bitches down there? Nigga, some bitches up here. It was I just met it is Felicia and Keisha and Pamela Shaniqua. <laughs> About six Kims and a bitch named Tanisha. I met a bad bitch this morning named Carla. I met her at the ice cream parlor. What these bitches want from a nigga. One more time for Gerald Kelly, y'all. Hey, y'all, do me a favor, man. This is very important, man. Me and my seven-year-old son, Hunter Kelly, made comedy history on America's Got Talent last Tuesday. Please follow that program. We're going to be back out there in August going on live again. Vote for us. Vote for us. We making history, man. TV shows, movies. God is great. The sky's the limit, man. Capone, I love you. Appreciate you having me. Cleveland, I love y'all. Phyllis, Tanita, I love you, baby. Come on, turn that off while I start crying. That was my dude. All right, before we let y'all go, did y'all have a good time tonight? Please spread the word. Follow Silk, Sam Silk site. Follow me on Instagram, Comedian Capone. If you can't spell...